is Chicago such a fertile place for new businesses, especially in the food space? So I think Chicago has a really, really rich history of, you know, I, I think, like, if you think about Wrigley, Wrigley has been, like, a mainstay in this community. And so I think, and it's always been, um, it's always been a target of a lot of our consumer goods companies that are to be headquartered here. You also have a lot of universities here that, that cater to, you know, or nearby that cater to food science degrees. And I think, I honestly think that Chicago is, it, it has an openness to it in the food space, you know, for all the things that Luke said at the beginning. So I think a lot of, a lot of folks, I think it's easier, to, I'm gonna say quote unquote, it's easier to maybe try things here and to experiment here. Um, than I think it might be in other places. And so, and, and I think you, you're surrounded by a huge community and a huge, ins, you know, a lot of institutions that have been here for a really long time. And Kate, how has Chicago helped you, meaning all of the different partners that really, that it takes to make the food depository work? Well, I, I mean, at, at our heart, we're sort of this huge collective and, um, we have 800 partners, we have 11,000 people who come to our facility and roll up their sleeves and volunteer this afternoon. They were repacking potatoes and they didn't smell great, right? So, so there is, they were overall pretty good, but there were one or two in there somewhere that were not at the best. Um, and so the fact that there are so many people, and I think that's actually a unique Chicago. When I talk to my colleagues who do this work in New York and Los Angeles, they don't have the same kind of community support that we do in Chicago. There is something in this amazing city and in its fabric about caring for our neighbors. Yes. People come out, we saw that during the pandemic, the number of, I mean, our phone lines went down, um, first with people calling us for help, and second with people calling us to help. And I think there is something about this city that's in our DNA. And so we see that every day, certainly with um, financial donors, corporate partners, food partners, um, all coming together to make sure that we can achieve this vision of making sure that all of our neighbors have the food that they need, not just to get by, but to thrive. Luke, when you were first starting out, what did it mean to start out in Chicago and how did that, how was that an advantage to you? Um, well, I always have to be honest, I moved to Chicago because my wife got a job here, so I got really, I got really lucky. And they that said, that honest Midwestern yeah, sensibility so, that we love. Um, yes. But if I were going back and I knew what I know today about food, I would pick Chicago. And the only reason we've made it as far as we have is because we are in Chicago. Um, so I think everything that people have mentioned around you know, the community support, but also the deep institutional knowledge of food. So I started on a shared kitchen and needed to learn how to become a food manufacturing business. And I don't think I could have done that in any other city where there's just, there were people who knew food safety and food manufacturing and all those things everywhere. There was space that we could rent um, that was from the food industry with a really large installed base of industrial food. Um, and then, you know, food is really about supply chains and where food is coming from and where it's going. And if you're in Chicago, you're within a two-day drive of the entire United States. And it's actually a great place to buy things like produce. Most people think of California, but Chicago competes, uh, puts growers across the country are competing for business in Chicago. So produce prices are actually great in Chicago, for example. Um, so just the centrally located nature of it. And, and a lot of businesses, the third point, which was kind of said is, it's a great market to prove a business model that has a national reach. So like it was the second market for McDonald's and Starbucks and all of these CPG companies test things here because if the Chicago audience is kind of a good blend of the US and income levels and tastes and profiles.